welcome to Reddit on Reddit, the internet's auditory version of Reddit. I'm Nelson Allingham, joined by Michael Cambo Campbell. I don't have anything pithy to say this week. Oh. I want a short, sharp show mm. with no, and I mean no, digressions. Okay. You stick to the points. You don't drag things out. And keep it tight. <sighs> and when uh, I say no digressions, Nelson, I yep. mean none. Okay. Like, there's been times when you've digressed. Let me just explain mm. for a bit. <clears throat> yeah. You've I, digressed. Like, okay. like, one of us is trying to obviously move on and you're digressing mm-hmm. and you're making it take longer than it needs mm-hmm. to. I don't want any of it. Mm-hmm. I still like, did. last week, for example, mm-hmm. you yeah. were doing a very slimmer thing. Mm-hmm. And I don't want any of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this first Reddit on Reddit is by... Kel- just jumping straight into it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine, by oh. the way. <laughs> okay. How are you, Kemba? No, um, no digressions. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one for you, Kemba. Yeah. Oh, I lost my job at the keyboard factory yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I um, hit the bus in the face. <laughs> uh, and there was no escape. Oh. Ah, that's good. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Anyway, okay. Um, okay. Wait, this is by Kelevin. Yeah, but it's got two two ones in there. Like that, 11. That is a reference to the office, the US office. 11, yes. Yes. But it's also spelled, it's like got two ones in there. That's like just, 11 next to each other. That's just clever. It's really clever. No digressions, Nelson. <laughs> Oculus founder builds VR headset that kills user if they die in game. Yeah. Yeah. I saw this. Mm-hmm. What are your opinions on this? Well, okay, so <clears throat> I actually clicked on the article because at Me first too. I was like, this seems, you know, it's it's dumb or whatever. But I, I don't know why. I just clicked on it anyway. And then as I read more about it, I was like, oh, this guy's like kind of serious about it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I read the article as well because I was like, no, he didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So well, he did. I mean, he designed it. Yeah, but like, like my initial thought was like, no one would do that. But then reading through, yeah, this is this, here's my thing with it. Right, this got a lot of headlines. Like, I saw this in a, quite a really? few places. Really, oh, that's funny because I only just saw this. Once oh, really? On when I was looking for something to oh, start yeah. the show, no, I, I saw it pop up in quite a few places. Right. Mm-hmm. And I, I when I saw it in the show notes, I was like, oh, he must have seen it around as well. Right. Post around a few places being like, this guy's crazy or whatever. But this is, to me, the exact same as when they roll out, like, in a car show, there's concept cars. Yeah. They're like, it'll never be made. They're just showing what is yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this this is, yeah. could fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If jet fuel was really cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, that's true. I mean, it's not that he's going to make it. Yeah. Uh, obviously. Like, this will never come into existence. But he's designed it. And I mean, I knew that going into it. I didn't. I didn't actually click on this, being like, "Oh, when can I get one?" Yeah. Uh, but what surprised me was just the fact that he was serious about it. Yeah. Like he- the way he talks about it, he's like, "Oh yeah, I just like, I think that, like, he, he's kind of semi joking as well, but at the same time, there's a seriousness." In the tone, which is like, oh yeah, like when you're playing a game, there's no, there's no consequences. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm trying to find his quote here in this article I, I pulled up, but yeah, essentially he's saying is like, you can make the graphics as good as you want, you can make it as photorealistic as you want. Yeah. But the thing that will be the most immersive <laughs> is if you die. Yeah. In the game, you die in real life. Yeah. yeah. That will make it seem. Yeah. The most real. I think it's funny, right? Because <clears throat> this is. This is obviously a crazy idea if you're thinking of a game like Dark Souls or whatever. Yeah. It's like it, death is inevitable. But realistically, real life is theoretically a game where we have a chance to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so long as your game that you created was just a virtual world of real life, mm-hmm. then then death, the chance of death is the exact same as real life anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. So there's no, like, it, it's just when it gets to when you start putting gamey mechanics in there. Like, for example, 
GTA, right? You could oh. say even if you took away all the guns and stuff, like you you would have to create a really good uh, physics system because there's been times where I've been like playing GTA and I get bumped by a car mm. and then I'm all of a sudden under the wheel and I die. <laughs> like if that's how I end up dying, that would be so pissed off on a game that's otherwise just like, you know, The Sims. I'm just walking around and I just get a slight ding off somebody and then I die. My body flies 100 meters up into the air and then I come crashing down. That I would be annoyed if that's how I died at my funeral. They'd be like, oh, just a little bit of a glitch. And Nelson, <laughs> Nelson died. Yeah, real sorry about that one. I want to pull this guy up on a technicality. Yep. He explains that the it, there's like a charge in the headset. Yeah. That will go off and will end up killing you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he said the good uh, they, they the idea is to call it a nerve gear. So the good news is that we're halfway to making a true nerve gear. The bad news is so far I've only figured out the half that kills you. The perfect <laughs> VR half of the equation is still many years away. <laughs> So I want to say he hasn't invented a VR yeah. headset. Okay, he's he invented hasn't. a small bomb. He's yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's in- invented a, 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 a difficult way to kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, in fact, he's, uh, what he's invented is one of those saw contraptions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, do you think that'll be in a future saw movie? Oh, oh my god, it so yeah. will be. Yeah, yeah. Somebody put. Well, actually, no. This already comes from I think an anime. Right, okay. Uh, yes. And I is it true that all that. anime actually was influenced by the first Saw movie? Yes. Yeah. yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. Uh, Sword Art Online, apparently, okay. is, the, right. is, I think, an anime that it that it came from. But this last quote, I think, is interesting. I think it speaks to my point of being like, yeah, this is nothing. Like, this is like a whatever. It says, at this point, it's just a piece of office art, a thought-provoking reminder of the unexplored avenues in game design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas I think some people, I mean, just so like just clickbait headlines. I yeah. I mean, like, is this the future of gaming? <laughs> right. No. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, it's yeah. just an interesting thought experiment. Again, I feel like if anybody clicked on this being like, oh my God, it's really happening, yeah. those people are morons. <laughs> I really just felt like it was uh, the thing that really yeah, caught me off guard was how realistic he was speaking about it. Like, yeah, yeah, It yeah. just seems like somebody's he, dumb he idea had, that you would throw out there. He had actually, like, considered yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, what all this means. And, like, designed it and whatever. Yeah. You're like, this is a weird thing for you to spend so much time on. It also, I, I find it funny that the article opens, this is on futurism.com, mm-hmm. as Oculus founder and defense contractor Palmer Luckily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. He is really mixing his two lives. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, all right, Cambo, let's uh, move into Ask Reddit. This Ask Reddit was by Cole Blocks, uh, but it was cross posted to us by just judging Reddit. You just died and an end screen showed up. Which stats would you be most interested in? I Do you or do you not want to see the time wasted? Oh, that's a good one. Hmm. Yeah, it would depend on, I think... That one's a bit tricky, though, because you then have to have a different definition of what wasting time is. Mm. And because I think that... So, maybe by technicality, anything yeah. that's, like, not keeping you alive or not progressing okay, your... Wh- wh- what if they had a predetermined list, things like waiting in line... Mm. Um, I'd want to see the waiting in line one, actually. (laughs) Four years. Yeah. (laughs) Did not seem that long. Uh, Do you you reckon there'll be ones that people, like if you actually did the maths on, they'd always be a bit disappointed. Like, all right, then how many minutes did I spend having sex? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, 12. (laughs) Like, oh, yeah, 10 hours. Yeah, yeah. Over a lifetime, that's... Yeah, yeah. I thought it would be longer than that. Yeah, 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 that's that's true. You you don't want to... Oh, what about this one? Compared to all other men on Earth, like, where do I actually rate in penis size? Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be good. Like everyone's got a, a vague idea. Yeah. You're like, I want a definitive number. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 60%. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it's right. just above average and I can claim that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, thank you to all the micro <laughs> out there that, that really bumped up my stats. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, that's true. I think you there's a risk that you um, ask for a stat that you get really depressed about um, knowing the answer of. Yeah. Like I think because you could be like, oh, what was my, I don't know, average intelligence of, you know, compared to the rest of the world or something like that. And then if you were like, oh, you were in the bottom 10%, you'd be like, oh, my God. No wonder I'm dead. <laughs> my whole life is... <laughs> It's been a lie, basically. <laughs> I clearly in- misinterpreted the entire world. Uh, I would like to know, actually, this is a stat that I'd really like to know, is how many times I've uh, incidentally caused somebody else's death. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> is there anything Imagine if it's in the thousands. If like, oh, you're like, what? <laughs> what was I doing? Podcast had a worse it's effect like every than I really time you went out would. driving, Nelson. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I was like, surely there's... I, Because I, my theory on this, based on no facts whatsoever, <laughs> is that we probably all incidentally cause death in some way, mm-hmm. in the in the way of like the butterfly effect, yeah. right? Like one thing causes another, blah, blah, blah. So it'd be really interesting to know how many we actually mm. uh, cause in our lifetime without without even. What about it. how many people you inadvertently saved? Yes, that's true. That could. And if the number's less than the death, yeah. you go to hell. That's uh, oh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> would you take that gamble? That is tricky. I'd, I'd start going out saving people. Funny, that was a fact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's trickier to quantify, though. Actually. But people that you've because because saving is more psychological generally. Well, well, it's more like uh, people could die in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, I I talk to somebody and they didn't cross the street in time. Yeah, it's like All right, here's one. Know, here's one the other day. Let's you. say like I, I was at a laundromat the other day. Yeah, and I went in, I put my laundry in, and I noticed that the machine next to me, the door was open, and I yeah. just clicked it shut. Yeah. Small little thing. Saved what if someone had come in, slipped, and then slipped and whacked their head on that open door yeah. and then died? Yeah, yeah. As opposed to just falling on their on their back and being like, oh, that, that sucked. Yes, yes, that's true. Perhaps um, like inadvertently saved their life. Saved You saved uh, lots of people's lives, yeah. Camber, because they would have had kids yeah. and stuff. Oh, sorry. yeah. If you think about it. That's true. You save one life, you save millions, maybe, you know, if their bloodline continues, I suppose. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that'd be good. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll do another one here. Okay. Uh, this is by Forbukso. What person do you think would easily become the president of the United States if they decided to run for it? I'm really nervous that this is The Rock. Oh, that was instantly who I thought. Well, actually, I thought Keanu Reeves first. And oh, I was like, yeah. no, nah, I think Keanu is actually too obscure. Like, it's just that, like, Reddit and a few extra people and, on the and, outskirts and like, like him. It seems as if Keanu is egoless enough to be like, not me. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah Where yeah, The Rock right. is not. Yeah, yeah. He would, he, Keanu would respect his <laughs> opponents too much. And the office of the president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I think it Because The, cause the Rock's pro- talked about it before. Oh, has he really? Yeah. yeah. And like more than once, which yeah. is the scary bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think he definitely could. Um, and because like Schwarzenegger became governor. And to be clear, yeah. I think that if he was eligible, he would have become president. Yes, maybe, probably. No, I think there would be too many people against his. Like all those women that he had secret babies with. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I was thinking more like it, it, because of his accent. Oh, and right. Too many racists is what I'm saying, basically. But, but, well, he actually ran as a Republican, which yeah. you, we would have thought would have been the harder yes. political. But I think the fact that he's like, Fucking look at me. Yeah, Man, yeah. I fucking kill you. <laughs> and I was like, that's sick, actually. Oh, that's sick. I'll vote for yeah. you. <laughs> he beat that predator, so yeah, he yeah. could beat whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's... you think there'd be too many people to be like, he ain't no American. Yeah, like yeah. like once you get to that point, like governor seems like yeah. something. But then He's also governor that... of California, which is very progressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think The Rock could. And I'd vote for him, Campo. I reckon if The Rock decided to run for president, 
there would be a certain amount of people that started to really dig into the fact and let everyone know that he's actually like um, Samoan. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. What I mean? yeah, yeah. I think at the moment people are generally like, oh, it's The Rock, he's cool. But then the people are like, well, what's this guy from Samoa? I think he can come and run my country, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think that would become a bigger factor of his personality for some people. Yes. That, Not that, saying which side, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's uh, it it is interesting because the the thing is though, I think at a certain point, like Arnold Schwarzenegger is, you really have to be a politician. Mm, I was going to say that, and then I've just thought about Trump, who just wasn't <laughs> at all. Um, that did, but end, I think that did end in an insurrection, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it definitely didn't end well. But I think there is a larger point of like you. You can't just be a like, hey, cool personality and stuff. There is a point at which I think you have to be like, yeah. okay, I've got some like policies. I've got some understanding yeah. of this system. Well, like, <laughs> I, I, I genuinely think that The Rock doesn't want to be president. Like, oh, if you yeah, were to think yeah. about it, yeah, go yeah. make your Black Adam movies or whatever. Yeah. Th- that's what you like. And I, I get that you love being popular. Yeah, yeah. And the president is essentially the most popular person in the yeah, world. I get yeah. that that appeals to you. But yeah. there will be times when a defense person will come to you and be like, we have forces outside of this terrorist house. Yeah. We yeah. need your go yeah. ahead to kill them. Yeah. And there's like a 30% chance that civilians will die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a... Uh... I'm going to be honest with you. We've killed some already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Just to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Just to kind of ease that burden on you. Oh, like, then, there's some gonna, already I'm going to need you to take this and uh, bury it deep down. Never speak of this again. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, in a way, unconscious. Yeah. But uh, just never vocalize it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes or no? <laughs> yeah. I do you know it's it's funny. Mm, it's not funny actually. <laughs> but I was talking to somebody else and they were saying how like oh Obama is they they were actually very against Obama. Yeah. Because Obama uh, authorized some strikes, strikes yeah. and and stuff. And I was like I think we know actually just so little mm. about those decisions that the president makes every day yeah. that kills many civilians and whatever. And and it's it's funny because you're like, oh yeah, Obama, like progressive and whatever. And it's almost like because you have those views of him, you can't possibly think that he can yeah. do drone or it seems worse rather when he authorizes a drone strike. But it's like, but if Trump did it, you'd be like, yeah, classic, classic Trump, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there just wouldn't be this. Yeah. And you think that's bad? George Bush organized 9-11. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Invaded <laughs> several countries uh, for, for no reason. Uh, uh, there was a reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Weapons, weapons of, of mass destruction. Weapons of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, but uh, it's just so, yeah, so, I don't know, funny the way I think some people have expectations of one side and the yeah. other and, like, like all presidents, yeah. uh, I would say, are responsible for, and not just in America, I would say mm-hmm. probably our prime ministers and whatnot, are responsible for a certain amount of death. Uh, our former prime minister was very proud of stopping immigrants coming in on boats. Yeah. A bunch of them died. Yeah. Trying yeah. to get off the boats and swim to shore. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So. Uh, he was proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the things he's not proud of. <laughs> yeah. He probably organized 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> he probably did. Uh, anywho, let's move on to Today I Advice. So now it's time for Today I Learned. And also sometimes advice. This today I learned is by Slow Shoes. Today I learned twenty-seven percent of Americans, eighteen and older, have cut off contact with a family member. Hmm. I only found out. I am so out of the loop with my own family. Yeah, right. Did I only found out like recently-ish? My my grandfather passed recently. Yeah. That for a very long time before he passed, my dad and my nan had a falling out. Oh, I just never knew about it. Really? Yeah. And it explains because she wasn't at a Christmas and I was just like, oh, maybe she's not feeling well or yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, she's a bit old, doesn't want to travel because it's a little bit far away. But yeah. no, I'm pretty sure now oh. it was because wow. my dad had a falling out. Wow. They're okay-ish now. 
<laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just like, didn't know about that. Yeah, that's really interesting. I felt that uh, this statistic seemed quite high, 27%. Mm. It just seems sort of... But isn't it they know a family member who's had a falling out? Uh, no, no, no. Have, have cut off contact oh, with right. a family member. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So yeah. I had it as like, oh, they know someone that's cut off a family member. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is high. Yeah, it, it seems... Like a quarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, I mean... I'm trying to work out, in my family, my mum kind of cut off her stepmother, Mm -hmm. but then in doing so, kind of cut off her dad. But not really. She never had anything against her dad. Yeah. But then I don't know. But then does that count? That's still family, I suppose. Yeah. Because if you start counting counting maybe step family members, then that makes, I feel like, a bit more sense. I Yeah, it must. To be that high, to be a quarter of people, yeah, yeah, step family members mm-hmm. who are widely regarded to be the worst, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> um, exactly, uh, yeah, that makes a lot. Unless of you're sense on a porn be, website, because again, like I'm sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're actually very good. They're, they're the best. <laughs> uh, I think that yeah, most people are like, oh yeah, my brother's wife or whatever is, a, I don't like her or whatever. I think that's more common than, yeah, than cutting yeah. off a sister or, or a mum or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. But yeah, still cutting off is, is pretty extreme. I also want to know what the definition of that is. Like, oh, I don't really see them. Yeah, yeah. Or it's is like, it like, I will, I will never see, not see yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, yeah, I think it's interesting. I think sort of family relationships and dynamics are interesting themselves, right? Because... When I read this, I was like, I can't think of an argument. And I only really think about... When I read this, admittedly, I only really thought about my kind of immediate family, I guess. Selfish. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But I was like, I can't imagine an argument or something that we would get in that would cause me to cut them off. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, aside from maybe like if they murdered somebody, <laughs> I yeah, might like, yeah, like you committed like, some kind of heinous crime. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. like I'd be like, okay, maybe I'll cut them off after that. But uh, but then on the other hand of that, why I think that's so interesting is like kind of why not? Yeah, because like you would you might cut off other friends and stuff for something worse. Like it, what I mean is, my family could do something that like. It makes me get into an argument with them. Yeah. And if that was a stranger, then I would just be like, well, I'll cut this stranger off because there's no skin off my back or even acquaintance or, you know, the kind of friend. Uh, I could be like, I could cut this person off with no consequence. Yeah. But it's like for for just the fact that I spent, I lived with them for a certain amount of time, like blood ties to me just seem so weird because there isn't really anything that should connect you aside from the fact that you came from the same yeah, person. You need blood. And you need blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got one for you. Um, I want to know whether this would cross the line to cut them off. Yeah. Based on something, someone I know. Okay. Their family has cut off a family member. Yeah. Uh, and just imagine that this is your brother, say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he, this person has also equally cut their own family off as well. Like okay. They've mutually. Yeah. Anyway, this guy married two kids, mm-hmm. left the family. Yeah. Left the kids, yeah. left the wife, went, moved to Bali. Yeah. And just wanted to, he didn't want to have any of this attachment. He just wanted to go and live and party or whatever. <laughs> and he now lives in Bali. Yeah. Doesn't, the family doesn't see him anymore. They still see the wife and the kids because yeah, they're yeah. family. Yeah. But this guy is cut off. I think they want to. They tried to like write him out of the will, but then the lawyer's like, you know, he'll just protest it. Then all the money in the will will be used up in lawyer fees or whatever. Oh, oh, wow, that's weird. Yeah. Okay, but they've cut him off because they're like, he abandoned his family. Yes, that is interesting. So you if your if your brother you know did what? that, if your brother mm. your brother has kids, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a horrible thing to think. So obviously this is only metaphorically. Yeah, yeah. You know, say so your your brother was like, I I regret all of this and went and moved overseas and yeah. did did not. Yeah. And refused to contact his kids and his wife. Yeah. Do you know what's crazy? I don't think I'd cut off my really? brother. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know that's pretty extreme because no, it but- is an extreme circumstance, yeah, yeah. but I don't think I would because I think that you can, like, if he really regrets his choices that much in life, should he suffer with them? You know, because that's kind of what you're asking mm-hmm. a little bit. And it's a dick move regardless yeah but i'm also like but he shouldn't also have to live with that if it felt like there was so much 
pain yeah. to be in that situation. He is uh, in so much mental anguish that uh, he chose I to think, do this. <laughs> I think that there are tears to this because you're right. Like, mm. regrettable, but maybe he realized, oh, my God, like having kids and being married, whatever, that's not for me. Yeah. But there's a difference between doing that and then just ghosting your kids, yeah, never yeah. seeing them. Yeah, ghosting them is pretty yeah. bad. Yeah. So, like, different. yeah, look, get a divorce. Don't have sole custody or whatever, but I think it's still your responsibility that you brought these kids into the world that you occasionally need to see them. Yes, that's true. How old are the kids? Like 12 and... like They were old yeah. enough that they're like, where's dad? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Yeah. Do you reckon those kids will want to have kids when they're older? It's <laughs> mm. a good question. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hmm. Anywho, let's move on to what are we up to? Shower thoughts. Shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 This shower thought is by Eamon1232. The larger the download button, the sketchier it seems. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just spat. Um <laughs> Yeah, this is very true. It's an accurate. I want the smallest, most in, like <laughs> nondescript download button. I'm like, yes, thank yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always hide the real one. <laughs> if there is any kind of arrow pointing to it, yeah. consider it never being touched. Do you know what's so nuts? Is the other day I went to do this. I was doing some programming stuff and I wanted to download. Uh, oh, actually, it was just a PNG file. Yeah. Um, because it was like smoke. Normally I would just convert it myself, but it was like smoke and yeah. it was like really hard to do. So... Um, and one of the websites looks so sketchy, super unbelievably sketchy. And it had the big download button and all the ads and shit on the side. And I was like, oh my God, this is a nightmare. And I was like, but I really want this thing. So then I went on to Google and just Googled the website being uh -huh. like, is this safe? And there, there is some, a website that is like tracks, people rate different websites and this had like a 100% safe rating. And I was like, oh. How many reviews? That's weird. I, I think it was a decent amount okay, too. Because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I remember that surprised me yeah. with the like amount of uh, reviews that it had as well. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it. And so far, no virus on my computer. <laughs> but, it's uh, one of those ones that lays dormant. Can I say one of the greatest evils in the world mm -hmm. is a PNG picture? Because obviously when someone has a transparent background, sometimes to represent that, they have a check yeah, um, background to say mm -hmm. nothing behind it. So when you drag it, it'll be empty. Yeah, people that upload images of a PNG because they don't have to be transparent. Yeah, and they add a checkered background. Yes, to make you think it's going to be transparent when it's not. Yes. Well, okay. So there's a little trick that I can teach you, mm -hmm. and that also it's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> so if you well, there's two things you can do. One time, if you if you're in Google, you can type whatever a horse. And then you can type file type, one word, yep. colon, PNG. No spaces in between yep. any of that. And then it will just bring you back PNG files. Yeah. And then when you've got the images, if you actually click on the image and sort of drag it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you can see. You yeah. can see whether it's PNG. I also think. The reason why that is irrelevant is because what they've done, because a lot of marketplaces that will sell PNG yeah. images, show like you, Shutterstock and stuff. They show you the example. It'll it'll be a PNG file, but they have actually merged the backgrounds mm -hmm. so that you go to their website. And so this has become such the norm now that not one of the ones, even if you search file type PNG and you've got you know, ask for a transparent background, they're all just fake transparent backgrounds, yeah. but PNG files just so that they can get you to their website to download it. So I think that now. Um I've become pretty attuned to it that I can tell a fake transparent background from another uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that one's fake. That one's fake. That oh yeah, fake. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, I remember one time I was just doing it just to see how many are on the back. Like even images that I want I didn't want anymore. I was like just testing <laughs> to see if there were any fake backgrounds. And like literally all of them yeah. were just fake backgrounds. I was like, God damn it, it's so annoying. Uh, I'm also pretty good at Photoshop, so that's a pretty easy fix for me. Yeah, it, yeah, it's easy <laughs> most of the time. Literally, yeah. this this one that I had to go to the website to download was because it was smoke, and smoke is harder to. No, but I mean the checkered background in particular is quite an easy fix. 
yes, a more yes, complicated yes. background. Yeah, it might be harder. Yeah, but yeah. a checker background, I know how to get rid of that pretty. Yeah, easy. yeah, yeah. Check it, check it back and see. Here's another one. Right. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is by Skeptic Believer. Most people wanting a painless and easy death suggest that we are not actually afraid of death, but the pain leading to death. Yeah, I disagree with this. Yes. I think that you're scared of two things, the pain of death and death. And death. <laughs> yeah, because here's, here's the thing to prove that, basically, yeah. is like, if I gave you the option to have a painless death right now, yeah. would you take it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's like saying, like, yeah, it, it's so weird to think that this this form of logic, this 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 track of logic, is that like yeah, yeah, people don't actually care about death. It's that all death is generally painful. Yeah, so, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's that it's bad in two ways. <laughs> yes, yeah. It's bad that you die, you cease being. Yeah, terrible. That's thought. a bummer. Yeah, and also generally to do it, you go through incredible pain. <laughs> yes, yes. There's two bad things about it. I mean, generally, I think eventually at a point, it becomes more about the pain of death than yeah. not wanting to die because there's things like, yeah, once you get so old and maybe it's a bit too, I, I mean, really what we're, we're talking about is euthanasia now yeah. at a point because anybody can commit suicide, but nobody really wants to do that on fear of pain of how that suicide might go. But if you could euthanize yourself when you're, you know, maybe you're 90 and you're like, I, Every day is a struggle for me and I'm ready to die. I no longer fear death and I'm yeah. happy to go. Then you want the pain-free way out. Yeah. And it's more like, look, if I'm going to die, yeah. I'd rather it be pain. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> Which is a pretty easy uh, thing to surviving. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. For most. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, okay, let's move on to podnapping. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, I'm being podnapped. Podnapping. This is Podnapping, where we nap a pod. We take a topic of conversation or a segment from another thing, and we do it ourselves. It's my week this week. Yeah. It's going to surprise you what I've done. Mm-hmm. Found That's an old subreddit. Oh. And I've explored it. Okay. Uh, this this week, I actually went into the subreddit Aged Like Milk. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I like I, that. I wanted to have a look at some of the, the most yes. popular posts from this subreddit that have aged quite badly. I saw recently a uh, admin post on Age Like Milk that said, stop posting stuff about Twitter and Musk. <laughs> we get, we yeah. get it. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll, so I'll many. <laughs> preface this with I, I did it by um, biggest of all time. There's yeah. also a lot about COVID. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so yeah. I, I didn't <laughs> want to have them all. So I have actually had to filter these a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But I thought we will go through some of the most popular posts on Age Like Milk. Okay. Uh, I'll start with this one because this one's uh, slightly longer. And depending on how we go with time, I have some other ones that we can get to. Or if not, we can save them. Uh, this is actually from a tech magazine uh, from the early 2000s. Okay. And it's titled, The List, 10 Things That Are Wildly Overhyped. Yeah. Uh, now, this is a tech magazine, so some of them I don't think will have quite as much to talk to, but there are some swings they've made right. here. That, the uh, internet. <laughs> uh, it's not quite that old. Right. <laughs> it's it's like, I, I would say probably about 2005. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the first one is multiple GPU video cards. It's a very tech-based thing. Right. But they're very common. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Actually, they, they're so, they were so common that they're now obsolete. Now, right. now that they've they've the video cards have kind of progressed beyond this. Someone has actually made a note for all of these points. Right, the dual CPU video cards uh, are actually dead after the late 2010s when the video card with ray tracing are becoming more available. So, right. Okay. So yep. this is actually two steps up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh, number nine, the Nintendo Wii. This is what the yeah, magazine said about it. Yeah, okay. So much potential has squandered on so many terrible games and so few high points. Yes. I mean, what's weird is I actually still agree with that. It sold unbelievably well. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, I feel like I know so many people, so many people that have a Wii uh-huh. and enjoyed playing Wii sports <laughs> and got no other games from it because you're like, it's actually kind of boring and I don't want to move around that much. <laughs> <laughs> but but it did sell unbelievably yeah, yeah. well. It, yeah. it, it, it broke all kinds of records. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I think generally it's accessibility was a big selling point. For that. Yes. Uh, this one, uh, number eight, is Will Wright's Spore, which is a video game. Um, right. I didn't really know. No idea. Okay. Uh, number seven is uh, 64-bit computing. 
Oh. So PCs can address more than four gigabytes of memory. Big whoop. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's so funny. So now, for instance, um, I've been looking into like a new uh, Mac computer. Yeah. I think you build them all the way up to 128 gig. Yes. It's something crazy. I actually yeah, like, did uh, learn about this a little bit. And I think... We, we've talked about 64-bit before. Yes. and I And I think... So maybe 128 is like... They're saying the limit because... When you upgrade it by a certain amount, it actually exponentially expands the computing power. And they're like, so yeah, maybe after 128 or something, you won't ever need to go to 256 uh, mm-hmm. because because we're so far away from the, that yeah. being a relevant yeah. computing requirement. Well, it won't be a problem <laughs> in your lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 64 bit, we've we've gone to yeah. the point of yeah. needing now. Yeah. Uh, number six is the TV series Battlestar Galactica. Mm. Uh, the, the, the reboot. They say, once awesome sci-fi is now Marrow's place in space. Meh. <laughs> and this has actually now gone down as one of the better sci-fi yeah, <laughs> series yeah. of all time. Yeah, that's right. Uh, number five, downloading and watching movies from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. They haven't even explained themselves there. Eh? It's like, oh, nah, just over, that. This will never, never happen. Yeah, well, that's because they thought the computing power was so low. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's four gigabytes? <laughs> uh, number four, Facebook. Yeah. Oh. Said, distracting, fun, yes. Revolutionary, no. Yeah. Uh, I'd say tell that to the 2016 election. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For so many reasons. You're revolutionary in bad ways, but definitely revolutionary. <laughs> yeah. The amount of misinformation you can spread so quickly. Yeah. Uh, number three is high definition video. Oh. Um, so technically, as well, high definition video is 720p. Yeah. And then right. 1080p is full high definition. <laughs> right, and then yeah. 4K is ultra yeah, yeah. high definition. Though, so this is too This resolu- list is about overhyped things. Maybe that's accurate. Because I feel like at a certain point, you're like, yeah, whatever. I don't know. I got it. It, it's funny. Um, 1080p, which is full high definition, is just yeah. the standard now. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Like yeah. everything you watch is 1080p generally. Yeah, yeah. yeah Some yeah. television is still 720. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I always find because uh, there are people like I don't I don't care I don't care yeah and then the like I remember there was a file the other day and someone was like why does this look so bad yeah. it's a standard definition yeah. <laughs> you're so used now to watching 1080p yeah, 4HD yeah. yeah that that it's like it's like playing an old video game like this looks so much yes. worse than I remember it uh, standard definition is a bit like that you're like this is so blocky like, yeah, yeah yeah I think it's it's more than you remember it being. Do you know it's funny, right, talking about old video games? My experience with that is, so I really love Dota 2, as I've spoken about many times before. I don't think you ever and have. some people uh, referenced Dota 1 that came out, and that looks so blocky and terrible. Mm-hmm. And the funny thing is, I actually do have this vague memory of playing Dota 1 once with my friend. He was like, hey, you should check this game out. And I was like, nah, it's blocky and terrible. <laughs> like, even back then, my standards were too high, Kevin. Uh, now, number, number two is a bit of a wet squib. Uh, damp script, uh, Asus EEE PC, which is just like a, essentially a Chromebook before a Chromebook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably overhyped. Yeah. Anyway, number one. What do you reckon number one is? Um, the iPhone. The iPhone. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> number one, the iPhone. Yeah. It's indelibly cool, but nothing could have lived up to the hype uh, overdose, especially without 3G support. <laughs> Wait, what? No 3G support? What when it, when it first launched, the, oh, ver- the original iPhone, yeah, it, yeah. it didn't get 3G support thing until the second iPhone. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Yeah. Literally <laughs> Just the- totally changed how we... <laughs> totally changed phones and is still to this day the yeah. biggest selling smartphone. Not even just that. It changed so much about the world. When you could carry a computer around with you, it yeah. changed fucking the computer, everything. And it was an iPod and it was like... It, it, it really normalized, it certainly didn't invent, but normalized touchscreen phones. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I remember they were like a fringe thing. I remember being like, I don't want a touchscreen phone. Yeah. Just give me buttons. Yeah, yeah. But they normalized the shit out of the touchscreen phone. Yeah, yeah. Not even just phone, touchscreen in general, really. Yeah. They yeah. became more... No- I was even thinking the other day about how... Remember I had these like crappy little computers that you'd get as like toy gifts and they might have like random trivia on them or something. And just the like, you'd have to watch the words scroll across this <laughs> tiny screen. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just, just so funny how now like my nieces and nephews have got all this touchscreen stuff when they get toys. And yeah, it's interesting. Um, look, we're... we're 
don't have that much time, but I'll, I wanted to point out one or two more. Yep. Uh, so this one here is a Facebook group, mm-hmm. closed group. It only has 12 members from yep. the early 2000s. Yeah. Uh, it, it's got a high school picture as the banner picture with a big cross through it. Uh, so clearly this is made by some people from this high school. And it's called Stefani Giamnati Will Never Be Famous. Uh, she later went on to be known as Lady Gaga. <laughs> 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 so clearly she must have been like a theatre kid or something in her school. Yeah, and these people yeah. were so annoyed by her. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's so yeah. funny. <laughs> um, this other one here is a, a yearbook photo from someone called Kevin Singh. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he said, my prediction is the year 2020 is that everyone will live peacefully and will have a cure to every disease. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor, poor man. And uh, I thought this one was funny. This is from the TV Guide Twitter. Yep. And they were live tweeting the Oscars oh. this year. And there's pictures of this gentleman on the red carpet laughing and having fun, having a good time. And it says, <laughs> absolutely no one is having more fun at the Oscars than Will Smith. Uh, <laughs> and then the, the caption is, well, that didn't take a long <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I maybe I'll come back to this because I saved about 15 or so. So maybe yeah, I'll come back yeah. to it. I quite like these. Uh, yeah, age like milk ones sometimes are really good. But honestly, sometimes when it's uh, when it's uh, low-hanging fruit like Elon and Twitter, it, yeah, it, yeah. it gets too much. <laughs> a lot of Kanye on there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, guys, it's you're beating a dead horse. Yeah, it's, <laughs> the Lady Gaga one is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> so yeah. funny. Yeah. Uh, all right, now it's time for the Ask Me Anything, where listeners of the show, just like you, listener, can write in and ask us anything you want. Go on here from River. They wonder, how does one become a fuckhead podcast listener? Sorry if it's already been said, River. Look, River, <laughs> first of all, yeah, welcome, obviously. Yeah. We know you're, you're perhaps a newer listener. Yeah. Look, we have explained it before. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we won't go into too much detail. Mm-hmm. And I'm also going to point at something. I'm not going to dock this from you yet. Yeah. But one of the ways to never become a fuckhead podcast listener yeah. is to ask to be a fuckhead podcast listener. Yeah, yeah. Now, you haven't asked this, that? Yeah, that's fine. You just fine. asked how to do it? Uh, don't know. Um, there's no one way. In fact, every single time we've done is yeah. for a different reason. Honestly, that's the... What you've asked here is the golden question that yeah. so many people I, have I would asked. say, generally speaking... It's to make our lives easier in some way. <laughs> Most of the people that have got yeah. it have in some way yeah. made our lives easier. Semi-consistently, Semi-consistently I would say, yep. is, is important. Yep. Just one. Like, you can't just send in one pod dumping. Yes. In yes. And I think we've discussed it before. We have invented a secret way. Ah, uh, yeah. Come forget <laughs> that, that, that we'll never reveal until someone does Yes, it. yes. Uh, but, uh, yes. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's like a complex puzzle that you have to work out. Here's what you should do. Close your eyes and throw the dart. That's that's it. That's how you become a podcast, a fucking podcast listener. Yeah. And if that dart lands on ask to be one, yeah. Oh, oh don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do don't it. Do that. Don't do it. Uh, or is that the trick? Oh, maybe that's the secret way to do it. Someone try it. The next one. <laughs> I I double dog day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got another one here from Alice, dearest Michael and Nelson. I'm a long-time listener and finally could be asked to write in. Alice, can I just say as a long-time listener, I appreciate the kindness you've already shown us. Yeah. Most people say, oi, cunts. Oi, cunts. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, dearest yeah. Michael and Nelson. That's really also, fancy. I think uh, Alice should be considered, um, you know, a, 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 a staple for people to understand. You only need to be just a little bit asked. Yeah. To write in. Alice. Okay. Alice has you, done it. You'd admit. Be like Alice. You'd admit, Alice. Wasn't hard. Yeah. Uh, I got a spooky themed AMA for you. Oh, good. Just in time for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best off-brand Halloween costume name you've seen? Mine is Cat with a Hat, Evil Best Friends. <laughs> <laughs> You're somewhat asked, listener, but just asked enough. Asked enough, Alice. Thanks, Alice. We, we appreciate the askness that you had there. Um, I, I remember one specifically in, it didn't definitely didn't have a bracket, but in my memory it did. Right. Yeah. It was super powered man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. 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 You got a blue and red, the costume, there was <laughs> yeah. a symbol on the front though. It was a nondescript symbol. Yeah. It was P Cape. for powered. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, in my memory powered is it like brackets, super powered man. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm always surprised at like uh, the mundane ones yeah. that you get. Like I've seen one that was like a uh, netball player. <laughs> like yeah. why is why are people buying this as a Halloween costume? I mean, it's it's not much. They also do this. There's a world of um so like like in people that collect uh action figures and stuff. Mm-hmm. There's a popular brand called Hot Toys that make these action figures that are very photorealistic whatever, but they're yeah. like ultra expensive, like thousands of bucks. Yeah. And I've discovered there's a world of like knockoff versions of them. Right, yeah. That are still like not quite as good quality, but still look pretty good. I mm-hmm. think most people really wouldn't be able to notice the difference. It's like a knockoff Chanel handbag kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But um, the only reason I, I really know about this is um, they once tried to serve me ads. Right. Um, and I'm a fan of the character Daredevil. I've got a fair few Daredevil comic books and stuff like that. So clearly they were like, he likes Daredevil. Let's advertise this action figure yep. of blind superhero lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They couldn't funny. say who it was. Yeah. It looked a lot like someone else. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Um, some of the places him on a TV show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember being like, I'll, I'll never buy it, but that's very funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is funny. Um, I'd like to go slightly up, off topic because just last night I watched uh, Black Panther mm-hmm. and after the movie, uh, my girlfriend turned to me and, and I had the exact same thought during the movie, which was, it's so funny that, is this mild spoilers? Not really. Not really. Spoilers, no. It's so funny that they had like aquatic themed like people mm. and a hero or villain um, and he's almost, it's almost a bit stupidly outlandish because, uh, Kukul Khan or Namor, I think mm-hmm. is, has wings on his feet yeah. and he can fly, which is just like a bit ridiculous, yeah. but somehow still so much better than Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> like the more commonly known, the yeah. the yeah. you know, being in lots of different comics and stuff where it's done well, and still somehow way better than DC's Aquaman. You're like, this is absurd. Because <laughs> like, he was never like, uh, my man, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Throwing up shuckers and stuff. It's never ridiculous. And wasn't it like in one Aquaman, I can't even remember now, but they did the thing where it's like they would create Bubbles there so that they could talk. Yeah. And uh, I have a theory about that. Yeah. That that happens in Justice League, I believe. All oh, right, yeah. Uh, specifically the reshoots of Justice League. You know how that was like all cobbled yeah, together? Yeah, yeah. My theory is the reason that they did that isn't a necessarily a creative choice, but when they're underwater talking, they have to CGI animate their hair to float. Right, yeah. And I reckon if you're in a crunch, yeah. if you make him in a bubble, you can put him on a green screen and you don't have to do any of that VFX work. Yeah, You yeah. just put water behind him. I reckon that's why they yeah, did it. Yeah, okay, yeah. It probably saved them a true. lot of work to be like, you don't have to do all the, the cloth, doesn't have to float, the hair doesn't have to float or whatever. It yeah. can just be on a green screen. What they should have done is is uh, ball caps. Bald caps. For everybody. Yeah. 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 Everyone's bald. Everybody's bald. Yeah. <laughs> Namor has short hair and they're probably like, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I will say like Namor. So Namor, funnily enough, is the original Marvel character. He is the oldest Marvel character. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's so um, interesting. Him and the Human Torch, uh, yeah. the oldest uh, Marvel characters. And he is very much designed in the 1920s, whatever mm. style where like ridiculous. He's got wings on his feet. Yeah. He has tiny green trunks or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And they did all that, which I'm like, yeah, cool. Like I'm, yeah. I'm kind of glad they did that. And they've changed the character in some ways. They've made more like an Aztec kind of a whatever, which I think is kind of cool. I don't care about any of the changes they made. Yeah. But in the comic books, he has really pointy eyebrows, and I wish they had done the pointy eyebrows. Oh, right. Yeah. If you're committing to the green trunks and the yeah, wings on the yeah. feet, give him pointy eyebrows like an elf. They were maybe like, it's just that bit too far. Because <laughs> he's a handsome fowler as well. Yeah. So is it like it would have made him too unhandsome? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's why I thought it was like so good because he is so absurd as a character yeah. and yet I just wholeheartedly like accepted him yeah. and I was like, how did, how does Marvel do this? And somehow <laughs> DC not do it because they just, yeah. they just butcher everything. They try I, to- you know who asked that same question is DC. <laughs> <laughs> how do they? That's because that's the same. That's the same guy. We've, we've got that guy. We've got that guy. <laughs> Why does everyone make fun of ours? Is it because we gave him all those bracelets and a leather vest? 
Yeah. 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 Mainly it's that, yeah. Oh, just, that's just one of many reasons. <laughs> why, what is it about the choker? The, t- the tattoos on the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The grills. The Jarrell You've done so much. Yeah. Uh, anywho. Thanks for writing it out. <laughs> another, another tangent there. They started with. I said Halloween no costumes. digressions this episode, oh, Nelson. No. Uh, thank you for Alice uh, for writing in. Be like Alice, everybody. Yeah. Be be slightly asked and writing. Actually, I think we we have, have completely maybe caught up with our. Oh AMAs. God! Please be asked. Yes, yeah, so please be <laughs> asked uh, and write in. Uh, and and River, thank you for writing. Maybe one of the ways to get fucking podcast listener is to write in as a new listener Ooh. for the first time. Yeah, could be. Maybe. We'll never reveal. Maybe. Worth a shot. Mm-hmm. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh but uh, we'd also, uh, yeah, if you'd like to write into us, you can use her Reddit podcast, R E A D I T podcast, gmail.com. Yep. You can also reach us at Facebook, Twitter, and our subreddit. They're all R E A D I T podcast. Might not be Twitter for that much longer. Oh yeah, or ever really? <laughs> I I was somebody asked me the other day, "Are you on Twitter?" And I was like, "Well, technically the podcast is, but we have an automated tweet that goes out every week, <laughs> and otherwise, <laughs> no." Should we pay for verification? Uh, Get in front of more eyeballs. Yeah, that's how we should do it. <laughs> and we we will be Elon Musk, yeah. obviously. <laughs> Uh, we should also appreciate if you could subscribe and yeah, yeah, yeah all that other Read stuff. Read the show, etc. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Thanks for listening and we will read you later. 